Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Annika and I have something to show you. Bah, I have only one eyebrow. No, I'm just kidding you guys. I am wearing an eyebrow wig and that's what I'm gonna focus on today. A little bit of a tutorial. So as you guys know, um, all of my hair fell out due to alopecia, including both of my eyebrows. And this product is normally recommended for those who have little to no eyebrows. So they were perfect for me. But this is what I look like without an eyebrow. And there's the eyebrow wig. I'm gonna show this product to you guys. What I'm putting on now is the Cardani. Uh, it's the number 12 light brown. And these are what I used to wear all the time whenever I'd go out in public. And sometimes I'd leave them on at home too. So, so that was pretty nice. And so here we are. And it's just a piece of lace on one side and then you have the hairs on the other. Pretty simple, very flexible, woo! That is what an eyebrow wig is. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I put these on. I would take my handy dandy uh, glue. I also bought this from headcovers.com also. It, I have it stuck to my thumb right now. It has some old glue on it, I didn't clean off. This is what it looks like. It's just like a really small applicator, like small like you know, the liquid eyeliner, except don't use it as liquid eyeliner, guys, don't. <laughs> and uh, it was just very, very simple to apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue to the back of this thing. I just do a very light coat. Uh, sometimes I just do it kind of around the rim, just a little bit in the center of the eyebrow wig. I normally wouldn't put too much, because again, when you put it, press it against your face, you don't want any to seep out the side. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue. I went ahead and applied my glue and you can either use some handy dandy tweezers I would normally just use my fingers but you always have this option too but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers kind of like I always used to do here I go I'm just taking it in my hand right there pressing it down and you do have a couple seconds to move it around before the glue dries and I just make sure whenever I apply it just to not put it past the tear duct. And like literally, uh, I could probably just go outside right now and twirl in circles and these babies would stay on very well. So let me do a little bit of an up close with you guys. You can tell that there is a little bit of lace. You can trim it. You can trim the hair if you like to. I just didn't. I thought it looked okay as is. And so here's a little bit of far away. And you can also move your eyebrows around and these guys stay on and they move with you. It was really nice. I never had people coming up to me being like, are those fake eyebrows? Um, so I was never concerned. It really brought back a lot of my confidence. Especially not having eyebrows. I mean, Come on guys, these things are awesome. I can finally move my face and do expressions again. What? Okay, so that's kind of it with the eyebrow tutorial, well, the eyebrow wig tutorial. Uh, the way to take these guys off is you can just peel them back really slowly. Never had any problems, won't, never take off any of my skin. I doubt it will <laughs> with any of you guys. But, um, but yeah, and then just to remove the glue, the adhesive on the back of it, after I was done, um, you either could buy some adhesive remover, but me personally, I would just kind of roll the glue on the back of it, kind of roll it up in my fingers. It literally would look like a little booger, and you could just like flick it away. And that's all you needed to do. So whenever guests would come over, they would see these little like kind of booger ball things on the wall, and they'd be like, oh my gosh, they're really gross. But really, it was the glue. There is also another brand. There are a bunch of brands out there, you guys, for eyebrow wigs. This one is Final Touch. I think Final, let me see. Yes, Final Touch Brows. And I believe this one was in a light brown. And these brows, the hairs on them are a little put on a little bit differently. And so it just kind of depends what you feel like is best for you. Um, by the time I'd actually bought these, I haven't had a chance to wear them yet because, again, by the time I bought these, I was drawing on my eyebrows and I preferred that a little bit more than wearing the eyebrow wigs. So that is actually mainly what I do now. But I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, let me
me know if you have any questions. If you want me in a different video to apply the other brand of eyebrow wigs, just so you can see what they look like on someone. Because I feel like on the websites, they pretty much just show a picture of the product, not what it looks like on a person. Let me know. And uh, thanks, you guys, so much for watching my video. And have a great rest of your day. And subscribe if you want. Bye.